Now we're going to talk about how we can use scientific notation when doing multiplication and division. All right, multiplying and dividing in scientific notation. All right, we have a little bit. Um, now I think most of you probably again know how to do this. I'm not going to give you anything really new here. When you are given numbers in scientific notation, and by the way, another reason I'm teaching you this is that you're, if you haven't already noticed, some of your calculators are automatically putting very small or very large numbers into scientific notation. So you need to be able to translate them. So if you've got two numbers that are already in scientific notation, you want to multiply them. All you have to do is multiply the numbers themselves, the stuff in front of the exponents, stuff in front of the power of 10. Multiply those two numbers, and then what do you do with the exponents themselves? Do you remember? What do you do? Ah, yeah, and that's it. So that's not a big uh, deal there. I think most people would do that correctly. So let's do a couple of examples. Start out again. I always give you an easy one to start it out. So you want me to call on you for the first one, usually. But then we start getting, you know, Little twists and turns along the way. So do that one on your own. Put your answer down. My guess is 99% chance it's going to be right. And then we'll see if we got it. Maddie, who is cold, what'd you get? Look how cold she is. Are you okay? Eight you have like a fever or something? What is it? Eight what? Eight times no. ten. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're going too fast. Eight times ten. Maybe eleven. No, wait, that, that was eight. That's it's nine. Okay. <laughs> what? You thought it was an eight, but it's a nine? I thought it said ten to eight. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> All right. So what's the answer? Nine. <laughs> that all right. That really happy luck. Okay, good. Enough. Good. That's correct. And I expect that most people probably got that right. Good. Let's try another one. Now there's a little problem with this one. You might see at the end, but I want you to write your answer down anyway. Most of you will have it mostly correct. And that first one was obviously right because two times four is eight. 6 and 3 is 9. Pretty simple. Okay. What do you think, Austin? And that seems to make sense. And most people probably have it down. It's not technically a wrong answer, but there's one thing wrong with it. What is it? It's not in scientific notation. 12 times 10 to the 6 is not in scientific notation. So what will I have to do there? Move that desk place over one space, which makes it 1.2 times 10 to the what? 7. Good. See? It comes in handy to understand it rather than just memorize it. All right. Next one. What about that guy? See how you do on that one. You will need a calculator to do these two here, no doubt about it. Get a calculator out. Matter of fact, let me do this one together. What do I you get? Give me the I know it's not right, but give me the calculator answer here, Aaron. What does the calculator say? Uh, twenty-six point. No. Oh, yeah, right. Twenty-six point what? Two, three, five, four. Five, four. Okay. Times ten to the. Now be careful of this. Adding negative two and negative five is going to be what? Negative seven, good. All right, now what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? It is not in scientific notation, and that's only one thing that's wrong. Two point six 
two, three, five, four times ten to the made him small guy, make him bigger. How to make a negative seven bigger? Negative six is better, and it's still not right. This time, why isn't it right? Scientific note. Oh, sorry, significant figures. I've got two there. I've got four there. This number is two, so two point six times ten to the negative six is the final answer. Craziness. All right, let's do a couple of division ones. What do you think is going to be di different about division, people? Yeah, I'm going to subtract them. Divide the numbers, subtract the exponents. Pretty simple stuff. We'll do a, one or two examples of this, and then we're done. As usual, start off with a nice easy one. 8 times 10 to the 4th divided by 2 times 10 to the 6th. Give me the answer to that. You can write your own answer down. <laughs> this is not a hard one. <coughs> and most of you get this right. What do you think about that guy here, Sam? Uh, four times ten to the negative second. Four times ten to the negative second. Everybody agree with that? I like it. Because eight divided by two is four. Four minus six is a negative two. And the last one, <coughs> divide those two. So by the way, while you're doing that, let me just say something. I'm sure now as I'm doing these, and as you look at these example problems that you're doing, say, geez, I remember doing these in elementary school or middle school, whenever you were doing them, probably. Probably middle school. And uh, you know, how can I wonder why I made all these dumb mistakes though? Well, there's a couple of reasons why. You, you, you learned them in that chapter, and then how often did you see scientific notes? How often did you see exponents the rest of the year? Hardly at all. That will not be the case here. You, I, got, I just got done telling you. You're going to be using Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. You're going to be using that on a regular basis, all right, starting with the next chapter. These exponents ain't going away, okay, just like significant figures doesn't go away. Just like metric conversions aren't going to go away. Those are things you all learn somewhere in a math class in elementary or middle school and then immediately ignore the rest of the year after you got taught it. That's not the way you keep things. It's not the way things stay there. That's why you're making these same mistakes. Now, this guy, I love this answer. First wrong answer. Two times, I hate when people do that. Well, you can't divide two by four. Yes, you can divide two by four. What do you get? 0.5, right? Times negative 5 minus 3 is what? Negative 8. But it's still not correct. <coughs> Why not? It's not inside. I have to move this guy over 1, make him 5, makes him bigger by 1. Got to make him what by 1 then? Smaller. How do I make a negative 8 smaller? Negative 9. Yes. Yes. Is this great or what? All right. Well, you're going to be using this all year long. There's your homework to try. I can check that homework on Wednesday. Tomorrow we have a lab. Copy that down. Is there going to be a lab that repeats where, like, Yep. Special.